Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. Today we are going to be talking about the new Warframe himself, Dante, as well as my personal build for the Lore Master himself. Dante is a pretty crazy Warframe. He's got an exalted weapon, he's got overguard, he has AoE slash abilities, he can boost his abilities, he has summons, and just a lot more in his kit. So let's go ahead and start by talking about his passive. With his passive, his exalted weapon actually scans enemies and records them in the codex and whenever they're actually fully scanned, all enemies take increased status chance by 50%. And considering the nature of this Dante build, we're going to be using a lot of slash, so this passive is honestly pretty useful. On to his first ability, which allows you to use Dante's exalted weapon, the Noctua. This exalted weapon is actually a tome sidearm, and it has a primary fire and an alternate fire. The primary fire shots have a base 2 times crit multiplier, 30% crit chance, and 25% percent status chance and the shots do slash damage while the alternate fire shots have a base three times crit multiplier 45 percent crit chance and 45 percent status chance as well as 1.4 meter punch through and these alternate fire shots do 60 percent radiation damage and 40 percent impact damage and one really cool thing about this exalted weapon is the fact that the noctua actually bypasses the restrictions you have with tome mods and thanks to the bypass you can actually equip all the tome mods simultaneously on this exalted weapon if you choose on to his second ability which is called light verse with this ability dante starts drawing a circle of protection and not only are you invulnerable while you cast this ability but this ability also gives overguard to dante and his allies that are within range the overguard does cap off but the more ability strength you have the higher the overguard cap will be and this ability is actually really important for synergizing with his final ability but next up we got his third ability dark verse this ability inflicts two instances of slash damage with guaranteed status and stagger if you really wanted to you could just run around and spam this ability on certain enemies and do a fair amount of damage but you could do even more slash damage if you synergize this ability with the final ability now let's go ahead and talk about the final ability itself which is called final verse this ability is pretty crazy this ability cannot actually be casted until you use a light verse and or a dark verse to fill in the two pages that will ultimately create the final verse once the story is written which means once both the pages are filled you can fulfill the narrative by casting this ability and creating one of the four stories and each story is based on the page order that you had before you casted final verse which means this ability has four different effects that you can actually get whenever you actually use final verse let's go over the four different effects or the four different stories that you get with this ability the first one is called triumph you activate triumph by first using two light verses and then following it up with final verse and triumph grants overguard to dante and his nearby allies each kill or assist from dante's weapons and abilities regenerate overguard while triumph is active so thanks to light verse you had an overguard ability and thanks to triumph not only do you have an overguard ability that gives you even more overguard compared to light verse but you can straight up regenerate the overguard that you're losing by just getting kills it's honestly pretty crazy the second story is called tragedy which you get by using two dark pages and of course following that up with the final verse tragedy inflicts slash damage to enemies in range and enemies hit by tragedy that are affected by slash heat or toxin status effects instantly receive full damage from all damage ticks of the proc in a single burst, which is then affected by the damage multiplier, which is based on ability strength. So you can straight up turn that AoE slash ability into a status burst ability, which is honestly amazing. Next up, we got Word Warden, which is created by having the left page be light and the right page be dark. This ability summons a spectral version of Noctua that floats besides Dante, and whenever Dante attacks with his weapons, the spectral Noctua will also attack, doing 30% of the original Noctua's damage. You just straight up get a summoning that attacks alongside with you, which is really unique and honestly really cool to see. Dante literally straight up summons a spectral version of his exalted weapon. Like, that's pretty badass. And finally, the last story and effect you can get with Final Verse is called Page Flight. And that is, of course, obtained by having the left page be dark and the right page be light. Page Flight summons three spectral peregrims that are immune to damage 
and have a high threat level which means any enemies that see these summonings will actually prioritize attacking them over dante and his allies the peregrims fly around enemies and slice them up with slash damage and any enemy that gets hit by the peregrim is instantly more vulnerable to status chance which is absolutely insane and can make for some pretty good synergy with the rest of dante's abilities man's literally got four abilities in one it's pretty crazy and whenever you synergize them all together dante can absolutely cook everything while also taking zero damage thanks to overguard with the right build he is definitely pretty cracked so let's go ahead and go over the mod setup that i got for my dante for the aura mod i got energy siphon because getting energy per second never hurt anybody i got umbral fiber for extra armor i got umbral intensify for extra ability strength i got primed flow for extra energy i got stretch for extra ability range i got blind rage for extra ability strength i got primed continuity for extra ability duration and then i got fleeting expertise so that i could get a little bit more ability efficiency as far as my arcanes go i got arcane energize so that i can have a chance of getting more energy per orb pickup and then i got more augmented to increase my ability strength per kill and this is the mod setup that i got for the noctua i got hornet strike for a flat damage bonus i got galvanized diffusion for multi-shot which is of course extra damage i got creeping bullseye for a flat critical chance bonus and then i got primed convulsion and primed heated charge so that i could get radiation and then i got pathogen rounds and deep freeze so that i could get viral and yeah guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video dante is an absolute demon and with the right setup not only can you just stack overguard for yourself and your allies and make that overguard regenerate itself but you could also do massive aoe slash damage and you have two abilities that straight up give you summons let me know what you guys think of dante as well as my dante build down below before this video ends real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel and yeah guys that's gonna be it for me with that being said thanks for watching